Yo, what up guys? Mad Vikings Toy Channel. I'm back again. Um, this is just a, I don't know, kind of breaking news type deal. Um, I'm sure I can report more right now, but these are probably the biggest things going, so I figured I'd just report them. Most of us, you know, follow dirt sheets already, and some of this been, been breaking yesterday. Um, that Alberto Del Rio was popped for a wellness violation. Um, and they didn't say what it was yet. Of course, it takes some digging into. It took me a few weeks to find out what Roman Reigns got popped for. So, um, eventually I will find it and I'll let everybody know. But that wasn't the end of it. Later on in the day, on Paige's birthday, she was informed by the WWE that she was caught in a drug violation as well. And if you don't remember, she and Alberto Del Rio are dating. And Alberto Del Rio is not a real popular guy right now with some people in the WWE. Like Triple H. Triple H can't stand the guy. Um, Triple H actually said, well, Vince brought him back and Triple H was adamant against it. And Vince won and I guess promised him title runs. And what did he get? He got a U.S. title and he's been buried pretty much kind of since then. Um, and Alberto Del Rio has been very vocal about his position since he's been brought back because promises weren't kept. Um, and then the draft happened, and he was split from his girlfriend, so there's been some drama, you know. Uh, and, of course, you know, Triple H and Steph will be on Raw, so they don't have to deal with them anymore. Hell, they wouldn't even have to really see him anymore. But the interesting thing is another person got popped today, to, uh, right after, well, not, not on the same day, the day after, and this will affect the pay-per-view Sunday. It's not like going to be like the main event changes or anything, but um, this person was in the middle of a push, which was supposed to be the biggest push of their career, possibly leading to a title. Uh, and that person is the Red Queen, evil. I mean, evil. <laughs> Eva Marie. Um, which is interesting. So she's got popped for a drug violation as well. And now she gets to sit at home for 30 days with the uh, the other two. And it does make me wonder, what are Paige and Eva Marie caught using? It certainly isn't steroids or HGH. Um, so what? Do they have a pain pill in their system? Possibly. Uh, what, weed? Eh, I don't know. If it's weed, that's pretty petty, because um, lots, of, lots of the wrestlers smoke out and party. Randy Orton's been caught so many times smoking weed, it's not even funny. Uh, he was caught smoking weed inside of an arena at a live event, and what happened to him? Nothing. You know, some of it, like I said, it's some of the stuff is biased. If you're liked and higher up on the card, it all gets swept into the rug. RVD, world champion at the time, two time uh, he was holding two belts. He gets caught with some weed, and they strip him of his titles and basically bury him after that. But you no, know, Randy Orton, he can trash hotel rooms and puff away in arenas like no one's cares and uh you know he, he's patted on the back and shit that was 11 years ago and he's still at the company and he's still chasing belts and still making millions of dollars every year see what i'm getting at uh it's always seems like the lower the lower card people always seem to get fucked with those are the people who can get fired off of this you know randy orton would get popped and he'd go home and well he probably wouldn't go home he would just go to like hawaii for a month you know but uh, obviously with Eva Marie, it affects the pay-per-view on Sunday. She was in a six-man tag team match, six-woman tag team match. Um, so I wonder how they'll do that now. I was always reading that on SummerSlam they are going to be introducing a SmackDown's women title in some sort of inaugural match. But it was this stupid tag team match, so who knows. Maybe they'll go back to that now. Um, but obviously that match will change. Or maybe it'll be just a two-on-two. -two. I don't know. It, it won't be that major. But uh, I think that was it. that's it for now. Um, all it, when I find out dirt on what these people were busted for, I'll let you guys know. Uh, as always, uh, I will see you guys on Sunday for the pay-per-view. And uh, that's it for now. See you.